the fuel we're going to need last summer, yeah. so we know that and, you know, halfway through that fire starting to kindle and then runs out of fuel and we go, ah, yeah. quick, quick, because you want most of it. So different ranges of size of the fuel. So this is what we, this is what, this is this is still um, kindling. So yep. there's three types of fuel: kinder, kindling, and then bolt fuel. So yep. that stuff up there would be bolt fuel. This is still kindling. Yes. So it's the small stuff. Mm -hmm. okay, and kinder itself is stuff that looks like this. You know, just stand out of cotton wool. That yep. will take take a, a very very sort of infantile flame or spark, and then allow it to take quickly. Okay. So the whole concept of this is to get momentum. Yep. So you start to apply spark to that, it it burns and fills up. Mm -hmm. This is all surrounded by oxygen. Yep. It's it's the heat that you applied to, to get it to combust and then it's the fuel itself. Mm -hmm. So it'll combust, generate heat, which will yep. link it over to the next layer. Yep. So fire line is just about joining up the layers smoothly mm -hmm. so the fire doesn't lose speed or momentum mm -hmm. as it burns. And then yep. the rest is on fire, <laughs> so to speak. So um, let me just grab a couple more sticks and then we'll just do that. In Australia, it's a lot down to um, sort of sense of place, sense of control, sense of, sense of some kind of security more than an actual need. Yeah. In the northern hemisphere, it's colder. You obviously need, you know, a lot more of the warmth side of things. So your tools, by and large, be very, very heavily contributing towards getting good at like fire successful at this particular yeah. rods. So this, this is what's called a mish metal, mm -hmm. which is a mixed metal, metal from the from the German way of explaining it. But it's it's basically an alloy, as we said, of of magnesium and iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it creates this. High grade spark. So, any kind of rough edge will produce a, a reasonable spark of it, mm -hmm. and that's what I refer to as a high grade spark. Yep. Just to differentiate it between a, a small guy and coal, if we rub sticks together, we get a coal, we don't get mm. a spark. Mm. Yep. That still needs to be added added to this way. Yes. But this will actually directly light the cotton wool. Yes. Yeah. So, this would be the, the burr on one of your tools, the back yep. of a tool, mm -hmm. back of a knife, but I don't even need that. I can just use a piece of broken glass or a okay. piece of sharp stone. Yep. A bit of quartz. As long so as it's got your a rough survival edge. bracelet, that'll have that in it in the clasp. Um won't it? some some do. This one doesn't. It's quite an old one. Oh okay. Uh, but some do. Yep. Sometimes we thread them up into there. We've got these yep. smaller ones. Ones like this, yep. and they could be woven into the material. Yes. This particular one's just cool. But okay. But, um, a lot of people build them up into be yep. bigger than Ben Hearn now. So the the idea then is that you've got that stuff habitually on you, as opposed to yes, yep. oh, I've suddenly lost and I forgot my survival yes. kit. Yep. So what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm just teasing out the cotton wool. Yep. That will that will make it light and fluffy and then we're going to use what's called a ferro rod so this is mm -hmm. a mix of magnesium and iron and literally going to throw a spark so we make a, a strong spark mm -hmm. and we'll throw that spark into there and we'll just form yep. the first part of our fire mm -hmm. so I'll put my bench down I'll, put in <laughs> I'll show you some different places you can find this stuff both naturally okay. make it yourself yep. or the smart person would carry this stuff with them. Yeah, yeah. Why this as, as opposed to a match? Mainly because this can get wet. Yeah. And it'll still work. Yeah. And this has got about 20, 30 other sparks in it. Yeah. Box of matches it's got. Yeah. 30, 30 odd pieces. Yeah. So if we drop that down to there, and just put that on there so you can see it clearly. Same thing. And then we can start just adding our fuel to the fire. This is just black and turn. And then the bigger stuff goes across that. So I don't need to do little TPs and little sort of 
particular thing, this is the way most people remember. Mm -hmm. And then they add the fuel to the fire. It smells awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really, you think? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of camping. Oh no, I do. I do like some wood smoke, but the, you know, every depending on what you're burning as to what it smells like. Yeah. And then in Australia, even though it's still got a lot of dew on it, there's enough fermenting probably in that fire now to start to get that stuff to tinder, which is going to give us a lot of the oils out of the gum leaf. Mm -hmm. and that, that, that's why we have those hot bush fires here. We've got type oils. Yes. In the, in gum trees in the Euclid family and that'll just help again push that up. Cool. You can see it almost go at a, at a warp speed level and just continuing to add as the fire wants it as opposed to the way most people like fire they sort of build the fire structure and then expect the fire to jump in there and do what it's told. Yeah. From my experience, it doesn't, doesn't prove to be the most efficient way of doing it. So some of that stuff's got a bit of moisture in it. What I'm doing is I'm using a hot burn to actually cook the moisture out. Oh, okay. So even if everything's wet, we can still get that momentum thing to happen. Is that by adding the leaves? Yeah. Okay. So it's like, like oven cooking. Yep. So the fuel, the bigger mm -hmm. piece of fuel top and bottom yep. to start getting that to be dry enough to combust. Okay. You see if you look at the fuel, the big sticks as they start to burn, the wood itself is not actually on fire, it's the gases that are coming off the wood that yeah, that's true, create isn't it? the flame. That's what's yes. burning. Yes. And then his point was all that so that's why this is slightly different the way a lot of other people explain fire lighting. That understanding then led me to see that okay well if I can get this stuff hot enough Yes. It'll start to pull gas and then that's the combustible part of the whole equation yes. that you're tapping into. Yep. So I regard a fire as lit pretty close to about that. So basically when we can move away and do other things yep. and not worry about it going out. Okay. Before that it'll need a little bit of TLC just to get it to a point where it's able to bend for itself to some extent. Yep. And our wet fuel around the outside of the fire. Yep. The heat from the fire starts to dry it out and add it in to replace it with more wet stuff. So. Yeah, it makes sense. Pretty simple? Yes. The fire. <laughs> so you, you want to kind of think of it if I was really, really injured or not feeling well or as crook or, it's, or, or for whatever reason I'm not mm. 100% or I just don't have the wrist strength. Um, kids do it this way better, and I actually learnt this from watching the kids do it. Mm -hmm. they, they can lock this onto the ground, the whole thing stays put, and they just pull, pull this bit back. That's a good idea. So it's a lot more... Yes. It, it drops straight down, and it's a mm. lot more energy efficient. Yeah. Biomechanically, that works better than, than what most blokes do, which is kind of muscle it. Yep, yep. And that's yep. throwing sparks everywhere. Yes. And it's usually less efficient. Yep. I'll practice. Joining into my little fire pile there. I can look. I found some of this little. Um, oh yeah, what's that called again? Lichen. Lichen. This here. So you can pull that off. And it comes part of your birthday. So are we supposed to put the bigger sticks on to begin with, or wait till we light it? Wait till you light it. Light the cotton wool first, and then add 
to add the grassy looking stuff and then the bigger sticks so you, you go from fine to coarse or Oh, so we don't, even, we don't even put the little sticks down first. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you got the little sticks. I so just we put just put the little sticks aside. It makes sense. The same way. So start with a baby fire and then build the baby fire to a bigger fire. So yeah. So starting with a big fire and yes. hoping to make it light. Yeah. It's just the western way. Yes. We like to do things backwards. True. Yeah, but you have to spread it out your talk. <laughs> you won't listen. <laughs> uh, did, I, did I forget to mention that we did push-ups around here? <laughs> I totally tell we're used to that. There you go. I got one. Yeah. Oh, you got one? I put this one at the center window. Oh. Alright. I don't want your sparks near me. You can have that one. Can <laughs> <laughs> you trust me? Um, yeah. I'm on fire. I'm on fire, yep. what are you? <laughs> <laughs> the worst yeah, yeah. Adam is survival. <laughs> violence, Shane, more violence. Yeah. <laughs> the, the quality of the steel is evident in the sword. Oh, really? See how, how strong the sparks are, kind of thing. Oh, okay. That's as simple as that is. You know? Yep. And then all you've got to do is. So, but how come it went out? Because you guys got Oh, so it should be flatter. Oh, and then put them on top of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course. That's, that's the thing to learn. See, you think if I had to explain it to you, yep. well, I did. But well, it makes total sense now that you say it. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm not it makes famous more for sense <laughs> when you actually see it. Yeah. So see the difference in terms yes, of results? Yes, huge difference. See, I would have been cold for five minutes longer if I was in the bush. <laughs> And that's what a lot of people work out. They go, ah, okay, if I understand what I'm trying to achieve, then Makes you sense. might make a yeah. few boo-boos on the way, but your your intelligence will get you through this. Yeah. It'll, it'll make it happen. Or in this case, yours. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't do anything. So why is our fire... No, no, it's going. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> like, why does it not look as good? It's not keeping me warm! <laughs> So see out here, so, you just, uh, so this is coming from the rain, so you just keep adding this down. You see it now starting to kindle. And ah, that's going to start to so dry out any moisture in that. If you keep adding fuel to it, it'll, it'll just keep keep going until you eventually stop adding fuel to it. So a fire like this can burn for a couple of days. With, if I get big logs on there. My body is so not designed for this, my eyes are watering. <laughs> So what you just did there is great because that any any moisture in that fuel now it gets yep. cooked off, doesn't it? Yeah, I remember saying that before. So that that's is a that real simple principle to understand. Yeah. And then um, then you get. The so it looks fire. so simple when somebody else is doing it, but you totally forget when you go to do it yourself. Yeah. So yeah. you're lighting the fire first, basically. Then you're putting your leaves, your dry material on first. Then you're putting little sticks on. Then you're putting your fuel, which is your leaves with the oil in it. Then you put your bigger sticks, and then more fuel, and then bigger sticks again, and you're good to go. What's following the approach? Apparently, it's good luck. Really? Yeah, no. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I think that's just. I think they just made that up. <laughs> I was like, my eyes are watering. <laughs> I want to keep this little guy going. You want to keep your fire going? Mm. Is that your first fire? Uh. Yeah, I normally just like start doing it and I'm like, oh, someone else is taking over. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No <laughs> doubt, no doubt. We now have now YouTube proof that you can build a good fire. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good luck. <laughs> <laughs>
don't think you're supposed to um, have a fire when it's lying dirty knots, Mum. <laughs> I didn't have my It is survival, I guess. <laughs> okay, so first bonfire at home didn't quite go to plan, but we had fun anyway. Thanks for watching our video and please subscribe now and don't forget to look out for next week's video. It's all about trapping dinner. Find out next week if we caught a rat and if Rich made us eat it. <laughs> don't let it fall on your finger.